Let's take another look at a piecewise function and analyze it for uh, its continuity. We're given a piecewise function and it's almost completely defined except we have a we have a variable here k and actually that stands for a number that we're supposed to find and we need to find the k that will make this piecewise function continuous. In other words when we graph this piecewise function if we pick the right k then we should never when we're tracing the graph with our finger we should never have to lift up our finger. We gotta find the k that's gonna make that happen. And so graphically, uh, doing it graphically is a good way to do it if you can you know if the function is reasonable and it's not too hard to graph. So I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna try to graph it. Um, but in the future you might get good enough to sort of get get what's going on to answer this without actually doing any graphing. So let's note that this function sort of changes behavior at 1. When it's less than 1, it's x squared minus 2. So if I plug in 0 into that part of the function, I get a negative 2. If I plug in negative 1, I get negative 1. If I plug in uh, negative 2, I get a positive 2. Now it also is defined, uh, that top part is the function for values in between 0 and 1. So let's plug in 1, even though we're not going to put a dark circle there. We're going to put an open circle. When you plug in 1, you get negative 1 again. But I'm going to put an open circle there. Let me erase this 1 here. It's in the way. So this is... That is this top part here just graphed for an x is for when x is less than 1 when x is bigger than or equal to 1 i'm graphing or i'm supposed to graph 3x plus k now you can understand the problem with graphing it uh, right away and that is that we we know this is really just a line right it's a line with a slope of 3 but the k is the y-intercept, and we don't know what that is yet. We need to figure out what it's going to be so that it connects. It fills in this hole here. It fills in that hole and then uh, makes this whole picture continuous. Because there are a lot of lines that have a slope of 3, right? Like this, this line right here, that has a slope of 3. This line right here has a slope of 3. Right? There's a bunch of different lines that have a slope of 3, but we need to find the one that's going to be uh, that's going to fill in that hole and make this a continuous graph. And so, what do we really want? This is when you want to think. What do we really want to have happen? Well, what we want to have happen is when we plug in one into x squared minus two, we know we get a negative one. Clearly, we need three x plus k. We need that to equal negative one when we plug in 1 into that. In other words, we want 3x plus k. We want that output to be negative 1. Right? That's what will fill in that hole. So that lets us find our k. And, uh, and we want that to be equal to negative 1 when x is 1, right? That's that's where it's most important, right? When x is a 1, we want the output to be negative 1 in order to fill in that hole. So, plug in 1 for x. And if you solve, you get that k should be negative 4. So apparently, if k is negative 4, So long as a k is our, our k is negative four, I'm going to do it like really lightly here, in pink. If k is negative four, then our line part of our piecewise function is three x minus four, and that will fill in that hole and make this a continuous graph. And so now you can trace it without having to lift up your finger.